Hello friends, it's been a while but I am back and ready to jump straight into year 3 NAPLAN tips and tricks. Alright, so question number one is which group has the most stars? We can see that we have four groups, wombats, koalas, possums and emus, and they all have five stars in each row. So, that means that the more rows we have, the more amount of stars there are going to be. We can see that wombats, possums, and emus all have three rows of stars, but koalas only have two rows. So koalas is not the answer. So in this last row, we're going to see which group has the most amount of stars. So wombats has one star in the last row, possums has four stars in the last row, and emus has three stars in the last row, which means that possums is the answer. Question number two is, Carmen and Sal each had a piece of string. They measured their strings using paper clips. Which of these statements is true? Okay, so to find out which statement is true, we have to measure the string. So how many paper clips long is Carmen's string? Well, we can see that it is one, two, two and a half paper clips long. So C, short for Carmen, is equal to 2.5. Now, how many paper clips long is Sal's string? One, two. So S, which is short for Sal, is equal to two, which means that Carmen's string is longer than Sal's string. Question three is, Paul has six 10 cent coins in his hands. How much money does Paul have in his hands altogether? So if Paul has six 10 cent coins, then that is equal to six coins times 10 cents which is equal to 60 cents. Question four. The graph below shows the number of students with each eye color in Mrs. Smith's class. Which statement is true? So we're gonna go through each statement and check if that's correct. That's how we're gonna solve this question. So the first statement says that more students have brown eyes than black eyes. So four students have brown eyes and four students also have black eyes, which means that that is not the answer. The next statement says that less students have hazel eyes than grey eyes. Three students have hazel eyes and one student has grey eyes. That is also not the answer. The third statement says that green is the most common eye colour. So we can see that five people have green eyes compared to the eight people who have blue eyes, which means that that is also not the correct answer. And finally, the fourth statement, which we know must be correct, says that blue is the most common eye colour. Eight people have blue eyes, which means that that is indeed the correct answer. So question five is, Kathy has these two shapes. Which shape could she make by joining them together? So we can see that Kathy has a square as well as a triangle. So let's see what these other shapes are made of. This trapezium is made of a triangle, a square, and another triangle. This quadrilateral is made of a square and a triangle. This pentagon is made of a square and a triangle. And this rectangle is made of a rectangle. So what's the correct answer? You could say that this option and this option are both correct because they have a square and a triangle. But if we look at it, this is no ordinary triangle. We can see that this is a right angled triangle because it has a right angle. And this triangle here is just a normal triangle because it doesn't have any right angles. This triangle we can see has a right angle over here, which means that this is the correct answer. Thank you for getting to the end of the video and hopefully I'll see you in part two.